Hola, everyone. My name is... Hi everyone, my name is Andrei and I'm the community manager for Cartel Tycoon. The year is almost over and we want to bring you yet another update. This time we focused on balancing the game around your feedback and we'll also introduce some experimental features. Let's get right into it. As we have said in our latest Q&A video, by the way, watch it if you haven't already, we're looking at ways to balance, expand and rework our terror mechanic. The changes to terror mechanic is something our players have been asking for a while now. And we were looking for a way to introduce the changes while not breaking other systems in place. This update introduces our first steps in this direction. Right now it's beneficial for players to only keep terror at the lowest level possible, and rising terror brings nothing but trouble. We want to introduce more terror mechanics that actually encourage players to rise it to the higher level. Let's talk about balancing and reworking terror first. First of all, attention stars aren't permanent. Aren't permanent. Permanent. Aren't permanent. 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 First of all, attention stars aren't permanent anymore. Yes, you heard it right. We know that this change will make a lot of people happy. Uh, like this person. And this, and this, and this, and this. We have reworked the mechanic of all the agencies' attacks and now they will be happening in waves. Like in that mission in that sinking feeling campaign. You know the one. Attention star will light up when the attack is about to happen and after it ends, the star will deactivate. That means the attacks themselves will become more persistent. For example, the CIA will actually follow your lieutenant if you try to move them and will blow up all the buildings the lieutenant has been in. We've also added a new type of attack, police roadblocks. They will block you out of certain areas and will put more pressure on your production. Don't let your trucks with valuable products move through them. The roadblocks won't be there forever, of course. You'll need to wait a couple of days or just, you know, bribe the cops and they will be out of your hair. Andre, the terror still stays on the same level and these kinds of changes will only make it harder. Well, not anymore. Now the terror will lower by itself. It won't be fast, but if you act like a law-abiding citizen for some time, the terror level will reflect that. The more stars you have, the slower it lowers. So if you just got to the first star, you won't have to worry too much. We've also moved stars a bit on the terror scale. And for each new star, you will have to gain more terror than before. Of course, we, <laughs> we did add more ways for you to gain terror. And now about expanding the terror mechanic. You'll be able to sell illegal products for terror in seaports and on border checkpoints without the need to package the product. Less work for you, but uh, more terror. Some of the lieutenants available for hire will also tie with your terror level. So if you want to hire a certain one for your cartel, you will need to show him your powers of intimidation. And your terror level will also play a crucial role in keeping your lieutenants happy. Some of them enjoy being a part of a peaceful cartel, so if you start any wars, they won't be happy. Of course, some of them joined for the blood and smell of gunpowder, so they will enjoy your more destructive activities. And there's more terror to gain from purchasing legal products from villages. Let's talk about that a bit. Villages are getting a massive rework in this update. First of all, we're introducing tiers of villages. You'll be able to upgrade them and in return, upgraded villages will sell you more types of legal products. We're also changing the way you're purchasing from villages. Now you can use dirty money to purchase the products and you'll be able to set your own prices and face the consequences. If you're a generous kappa and offer more money for a product, you'll gain more loyalty. If, however, you want to be feared and just take whatever you want, be prepared for your terror level to rise. But this update is called balance update, not terror update, so let's talk about general balance changes we're introducing to the game. We've changed our market mechanic so it won't affect your early game too much. Prices for opium and cannabis won't be that affected by the market, but the mid and late game drugs will require you to experiment, 
research and generally keep an eye on the market. Another balance change is coming to quest events. Now positive events that are actually helping player to expand and grow will be happening much more frequently and we hope that you'll love this change. Also smuggling points now sell twice as much product and we've also added loading and unloading times to the smuggling points so they won't start sending cargo as soon as you turn them on. You'll have time to deliver your product and sell it in a bunch without paying for empty planes and boats. We've also balanced growing zones around the map so we're excited for you to try the regions you haven't considered before. There are more mechanics and works that are scheduled for our next big update, so we're excited for you to try out this experimental build and leave your feedback on our Discord server. Oh, and I almost forgot. We have also removed locked regions from the global unlocks menu, so you can enjoy any region you want in the sandbox game without the need to conquer them in the story mode. There are, of course, also smaller balance changes that will be reflected in the patch notes and bug fixes, and a lot more stuff in the works for the special building update that will be coming after this one. Unique mare quests? Anyone? We've got a lot more in store, and want to thank everyone who supported the game through the year. But enough about the future, let's get back to today. You can play it as the balance update right now if you join our Discord server. We can't wait to hear your feedback, so what are you waiting for? Are you excited to play the new update of Cartel Tycoon? Write your impressions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube and on our socials. Share your thoughts about the game we're building together.